to my next video. In this case, I am going to teach in horizontal form. As you can see, it is in horizontal form and you are going to subtract it by their places. So we have here hundreds, tens, and ones. Now, let's try the different color. First, if we are going to subtract one's place to one's place, it will be like this. So, 2 minus 9 cannot, right? What are we going to do? We are going to borrow to 5. Okay. We are going to borrow to 5. 5 here becomes 4, right? And here, 2, it will become 12. Okay? Why it becomes 12? Because 10 that we borrow to the 10th place will add 2. 2. So, it will be 10 plus 2 is equal to 12. Now, let's try 10 or 12 minus 9 is equal to 3. Okay. Now, here the next line. 4 minus 8 cannot. So, what are we going to do? Borrow again to the next place, which is 100's place. So, 4 becomes 3 and Four here it will become 14 now so let's try to subtract 14 minus 8 is equal to 6 next 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 and this will be the answer to check your answer what are we going to do is to add the difference and the subtrahend. So, to check or checking. So, it will be 163 plus 289. Plus, uh, try to add 3 plus 9, 12, carry 1, um, 15, carry 1, and then 4. So, our answer here is the minuet of the subtraction. Understand? Let's move to the next example. Well, 6 minus 9 cannot. What are we going to do is to follow the rules of minus 1 plus 10. Yes, the same thing. So, in this case, I am going to show you how to follow or how to use the rule of minus 1 plus 10. Now, if 6 is less than 9, what are we going to do? Yes, correct. We need to plus 10. So, 6 plus 10, it will give us the answer of 16. 16 minus 9 is equal to... Uh -huh. How about the next one? So, if we use my uh, plus 10, we are going to use here minus 1. So, it will be what? 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus 7 cannot. What are we going to do? So, we use already the minus 1. And then, we are going to try to use plus 10. 10 plus 1 will give us the sum of 11. 11 minus 7 is 4. Here, we are going to use minus 1. 8 minus 1 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. Understand? Now, what if we're not going to write the borrowing numbers? Let's try. 2 is less than 7. So, what are we going to do is to make this one bigger than 7. So, plus 10 and minus 1. Plus 10 becomes 12. 
12 minus 7 is 5. Next, minus 1. It becomes 6. 6 minus 8 cannot. So, we are going to borrow here. So, 16 minus 8 is 8. Next, 4. Because 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Understand? So, that is how to subtract some numbers. Let's try the final example again. So, this one, I will allow you to use line to represent that the numbers are already finished. So, 5 minus 8 cannot follow the rules of minus 1 plus 10. Now, like what I've said, if 5 is less than 8, you need to use plus 10. 15 minus 8 is 7. Minus 1 here becomes 2. 2 minus 9 cannot. So, plus 10. 12 minus 9, it becomes 3. Minus 1 to 8. 8 becomes 7. 7 minus 4 is 3. And this will be our answer. Some exercises so you can practice at home. Always remember, practice makes perfect. Thank you so much for your listening. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share it to your friend. Thank you.